talking about triangles and there's a couple corollaries that we need to put into your electronic notebook. A corollary is this, and I've got it written at the top of your notes there. It's a theorem whose proof follows directly from another theorem. The two corollaries we're getting ready to talk about directly hook into triangle sum theorem. We know the triangle sum theorem is the theorem that says all three angles in a triangle add up to equal 180 degrees. This is kind of an offshoot. These corollaries are offshoots of the triangle sum theorem. So let's look at the first one, see if we can make it make sense. The acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. Mathematically, why is that true? This angle is 90 degrees, okay? So a right angle is 90 degrees. So if all three angles add up to be 180 degrees, then the other two angles have to add up to equal the other 90 degrees. Are you seeing that? Are you kind of catching on to that? So the other two angles are complementary. They have to add up to be 90 degrees because um, we already have a right angle that makes up 90 of the 180 total degrees that there are. There's only 90 remaining that can be split between the other two, so they have to be complementary. So um, hopefully that makes sense, and that's a little bit of a shortcut. So instead of using the triangle sum theorem, you could actually just make them complementary if you're given one of the um, acute angles, you can easily find the other one, just set them equal to 90. Um, let's look at the second one right here. Uh, the measure of each angle of an equal angular triangle is 60 degrees. And I explained that in a previous video. Um, if all three angles are equal, so you have three angles, they're all equal in length, and all together they are 180, then mathematically they have to equal 60 degrees. So that, that's mathematically what has to happen. 60 plus 60 is 120. 120 plus that last 60 is 180. So that hopefully makes sense. So that will make it a little easier. If you can lock in and memorize that equal angular triangles, those angles have to be 60 degrees, then you don't need to calculate anything. You just You already know what the measurement is. Okay, so let's look at example two. One of the acute angles in a right triangle measures 22.9 degrees. What's the measure of the other acute angle? Now, you can use the triangle sum theorem. If you're like, hey, I, I see it. I gotta draw a picture. Here's my picture. There's my 90 degrees, and I'm gonna make that one 22.9. And I'm gonna make this one my unknown. That's fine. If you wanna use triangle sum and go, 90 plus 22.9 plus x equals 180, that's fine. There's no rule that says you can't do that, okay? The reason why they're showing you this corollary is because they're trying to show you a shortcut. They're trying to show you that if you understand that if you have a right triangle, that these two angles here and here are complementary. All that means is when you add them together, they are gonna equal together 90 degrees. And then you can just solve it from here instead of setting up the triangle sum theorem. That's what they're trying to do. That's why they show you these cool shortcuts. And, um, and if you can lock in on that mathematically, then you're just going to speed yourself up. So let's take a look. Is it 67.1 degrees? So there's that missing measure right here. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so you guys try... I'm going to give three points, one for each one that you do here. There's three examples for you to tackle. We've got 63.7 degrees, X degrees, and 48 and two-fifths degrees. A one point for each. Find the other acute angle in this right triangle. Okay? Good luck with that. Bring your questions to class.